Hello, hello, my name is Marie. I am the owner and creator here at Soft Taco Reusables where we make handmade cloth menstrual pads. In today's video, I am going to go through all of the different types of fabrics that we offer in our pads, specifically the topper fabric options, in order to help you guide your decision in the type of fabrics you would like to try in your cloth pads. So you've made the decision to switch to cloth pads. It's super exciting, but now you're faced with all kinds of de decisions you need to make about those cloth pads. What size you might need, how many to get, and the question I'm going to try my best to help you determine the answer to here in this video is what type of topper fabric do you want in your pads? Cloth pads, you can usually get a lot of different options as far as what the top layer is, the layer that goes against your skin. All of them have different pros and cons, um, different situations where the one may be better than the other, that sort of thing. So in this video, I am first off, in the first section, I'm going to go through all of the different topper fabrics that we offer in our shop. Their pros and cons, what I might recommend each different fabric for. And then in a, the next part of the video, I'm also going to just cover a few other popular topper fabric options that you may find in other shops that we don't offer specifically, but I'll still kind of run down, run through a little bit of the pros and cons of those fabrics. And then because this video is all about fabrics, I am going to briefly cover our core fabric or our absorbent inner layer, as well as our backer layer fabrics. I'll briefly discuss what we use, why we use it, some other options, and why we have chosen not to use those, just so that you can have a good um, fabric understanding in order to make a good informed decision on what you would like to purchase going forward. Part one here, um, we offer in our shop six different top layer options. Um, first off, our in our shop the topper fabric is always the pretty print, the bright color, and then the back, the part that goes against your underwear, is the black fabric. Um, so we are referring to, in this section, the top layer, the colored part, the pretty part. Um, yeah, so I'm going to run through each of them, um, and I'll give you some pros and cons for each of them, um, that sort of thing, and then hopefully at the end of it you'll know what you may want for yourself. We are going to start first with our two solid color lines. We do offer two different um, types of solid color fabrics. We call one Simple Comforts and one Cotton Velour. So we'll start with the Velour. This fabric here is a fabric that has a little bit of texture to it, a little bit of a pile. Um, the advantage to that, there's actually a couple of advantages. One being that that pile, it makes the fabric a little bit thicker, therefore a little bit more absorbency. So you get a little bit of an absorbency boost all over the pad without really making the pad significantly thicker, which is really nice. And then the other really big pro to this fabric is that that texture on it really helps if you are someone who struggles with really heavy gushing that wants to run off the pads. So that texture, rather than like a smooth top that if it gushes out really fast, maybe it wants to like run around on that smooth top before it's absorbing if it can't keep up with the gush rate. This fabric, that texture, it just provides some like friction from the moisture running if that makes any sort of sense. So it is really good for those super heavy gushy type bleeders. Um, that's where this fabric really shines. It's also so cozy and soft, though I will mention that over time it does lose a little bit of its softness as you are washing it, especially if you're washing in hard water. It still remains quite nice and quite soft, but not quite as soft as the first day you get it. Now, the cons to this fabric, one, it's only solid colors. Um, if you like all of the fun printed designs that doesn't come in this fabric, which kind of sucks, um, but we still try to offer fun um, bright colors just to at least be bright and fun and colorful. Um, the other con is that a lot of people will find it tends to feel a little bit warmer. So I personally do not like using this fabric that much in the summertime, especially hot summer days, because I find it gets a little bit toasty, makes me a little bit extra sweaty. I don't like that, so I choose a different option in the summer. And then the other one is that there are some people that will find it feels a little bit more wet on top. Um, in order to combat this, I personally, when I am using it in the wintertime, um, I just like to change it a little bit more frequently because it does work so well at absorbing those heavy gushes that I like it for that. Um, and then the wetness factor isn't my favorite, but again, in order to combat that, I just change this one a little bit faster than others. So next up is this fabric here. We call it our Simple Comforts fabric in our shop. It is a bamboo cotton blend fabric with a very smooth texture to it. It's like a really nice, luxurious, lightweight sweatshirt. And it's a really smooth, cozy, comfy topper. It is actually, in my opinion, one of the better fabrics in our shop as far as function is concerned. And honestly, if I could get this fabric in all of the fun designs and colors, um, I would probably get rid of our cotton lycra fabric, which I'll talk about next. 
cotton lacquer is great, but I just think this is a little bit better and it is a similar smooth feel as the cotton. So pros of this fabric, it is pretty darn quick to absorb. It gives a little bit of an absorbency boost to the pad because it is a little bit thicker than some of our other fabrics. It does have that little bit extra of a softness boost being that there is bamboo content in it. Bamboo is just like an extra luxuriously soft fiber. So anything that has bamboo in it always just feels a little bit softer. And all around this fabric is just a really good staple fabric to have in your cloth pad collection. As far as pros for this fabric, I, I personally think there are a lot. It's one of the better ones. The cons, the biggest con in my opinion is that you can't get all the fun designs and prints only solid colors in this fabric. Some people will find it feels a little bit more wet than others, specifically more wet than our polyester fabrics. Polyester is a very stay dry option, but we'll cover that in future fabrics that I'm going to discuss here. Um, and then the other con to this fabric is it is a little bit more stain prone. So if you are someone who's going to be really bothered by staining, this may not be for you. I do want to note though that a stained fabric doesn't mean dirty. You can still have a perfectly clean pad that has a stain on it. Still great to keep using for a long, long time. Um, but if you know that that is something that's going to really bother you, this may be a fabric you want to stay away from. Next here is our organic cotton. Um, the biggest pro is that this topper fabric is made out of 100% organic cotton. So if that is something that is really important to you, you only want organic cotton against your skin, this is the only option in our shop that is 100% organic cotton on top. The other layers, however, are still the same as the rest of our pads, um, polyester and a blend in the middle. So if you are someone who is just like allergic to poly or something, then this still wouldn't be, frankly, nothing in our shop would be a great fit for you. But at least with this one, you can have that organic cotton against your skin. Now, the organic cotton absorbs so quickly and holds a lot. If you're someone who struggles with um, the blood like wicking around the wings or kind of running all over, this is a really great option. Functionally, this works really great. Um, it's not as soft as others. It's still, it's still comfy. It's not like a scratchy, uncomfortable fabric, but it's not as soft as really anything else in our shop. I would say if I had to rate everything in terms of so softness in our shop, this would be the least soft and it is definitely stain prone. I have been using cloth pads for quite a while. I've gotten really good at stain treating and my organic cotton pads that I have are the only ones that I can't get stains out of. It doesn't really seem to matter what I do. There's some stains left, but again, remember that stains don't mean dirty. The pads are still perfectly clean. They function super, super well. So you don't need to stress about that ruining your pad or anything like that. So this one, functions super well, but I would say just like the overall comfort of the pad is a little bit lower than some of the other ones. Now, the last of our natural fiber type of fabrics, this is our cotton lycra or cotton spandex. You'll also sometimes see it be referred to as like a cotton jersey, a cotton knit. Um, there's a lot of different names for it. We call it either cotton lycra or cotton spandex, depending on whether that fabric had spandex or lycra added to it. So all of these fabrics are a 95% cotton, 5% lycra or spandex. Lycra or spandex, is just like a stretchy fiber basically that allows the fabric to stretch and rebound. Um, what we like about it in pads is that it gives the fabric an extra layer of softness versus just using say 100% cotton. Now I would rate this fabric fairly similarly to our Simple Comforts fabric. The Simple Comforts may absorb a little bit better, be a little bit softer, but just a little bit. Now the Cotton Lycra on the other hand is available in all of the fun prints and designs. If, if you are someone who wants all the fun prints, which I personally am, I find the fun prints just is something that helps make me smile when I'm on my period if I get to see all these fun designs rather than just a solid color. If you're like me and you feel the same, this is a really good fabric to start with. It feels like a really nice, soft, luxurious t-shirt fabric. It's a very smooth texture, which keeps it nice and cool. It's not as warm as the ones that have a pile like the cotton velour or the minky that I'm going to get to next. It absorbs at a pretty reasonable rate. If you're like a really, really fast, heavy gusher, may not quite hold up. You may want to look into the Simple Comforts, the velour, or the organic cotton, but it's still, for most people, a really great option. I find it is probably the most popular option in our shop. Again, it's just a really good staple solid basic fabric. A lot of people love it. It's cons. Um, it does absorb a little bit slower than the other three that I just mentioned, so that can be a little bit of a challenge sometimes. Um, it's going to be a little bit more stain, stain prone than our polyester fabrics that I'm going to get to next. On the wetness scale, I would say the other three that I um, have just shown, the Simple Comforts Organic Cotton and Velour, are going to feel more wet than this this will feel more wet than the next two that we're going to cover. Here is just a good one that I would recommend for almost anyone. So now we are going to get into the polyester fabric. So in general, 
Polyester is a stay dry and stain resistant fabric. So polyester, the fiber in itself doesn't actually absorb any of the liquid. So um, basically what happens is it passes through the fabric, which is how you get that stay dry feel. So the fabric itself isn't absorbing, it's going into the core and then the top layer is feeling more dry. So this one here is our PK fabric. It is like an athletic wicking type of fabric. It's very, very smooth and silky feeling. It generally feels quite cool. Um, as a general rule of thumb, the flatter or smoother the fabric, the cooler it feels. It's probably our fastest wicking fabric, which means it is the one that will pull the moisture into the core faster than anything else. The one con to that fast wicking aspect is that if you are someone who especially you bleed right in the center and you gush and you just kind of bleed a lot all at once in the middle um i am like that and i find that sometimes it wicks around the wings faster than it will wick through the core just because that top fabric is so fast wicking and it's what wants to like pull the moisture through it so um before the core has had it a chance to like kind of spread out that moisture sometimes it's running onto the wings which then um, can sometimes get onto my pants. I've never had it be so much that it leaks through my pants, but like I, it rubs on the inside. So if you do find you're that like center heavy gusher, it may not work for you. Now I do want to say that PK is probably the fabric that has the most variance in like personal opinion about it. Some people absolutely love it because they find it, it wicks so perfectly for them and it's so stay dry where others find they struggle with like the wing wick, that sort of thing. So this is why I don't usually necessarily recommend PK to start. You can, it's still a good option, but it has the most variance. You know, it's very, it's a lot more hit or miss whether or not you're going to like it or hate it. Now, the other pro to this fabric it is, is that it is incredibly stain resistant. Because it is polyester, like I said, and it, those fibers aren't actually absorbing the blood in and of themselves, it's very easy to essentially rinse that away and have a stain-free pad. So if having a stain-free pad is something that's super important to you, this is a good fabric to look into. Now, last but not least, we have our Minky fabric. Minky is probably the fabric that we offer the least of compared to pretty much anything else. And that is primarily because it is a warmer fabric. Um, it is one that I, I pretty much won't touch in the summertime unless it's maybe overnight because it's it's really extra cozy. Um, but it is a polyester fabric that has a pile or a fluff to it. The, the minky that we choose has a really like low pile, um, like means the fi meaning the fibers on the minky are very short. So it's not like super big and fluffy, but that pile makes it super soft. If I had to pick a fabric in our shop that is the softest, minky hands down 100% would do the softest. It is luxuriously soft. Everybody who loves it loves it for that softness. Um, it's like sitting on a pillow, sitting on a cloud. It is so nice. That's why people love it. But again, it is warmer. Typically, we only offer minky in the winter. We will offer a few in the summertime just for those that love minky and want to use it all year round. We try to keep a couple, but we only bring in a little bit of it. Now, again, this is a polyester fabric, which as I mentioned before, polyester in general, stay dry and stain resistant. So it does kind of pull the moisture through it. Um, I do find if you're someone who has like a thicker type of period flow, it actually almost has the opposite effect, like it doesn't wick through this as well, so then it feels almost more wet. It's not so slow that it wouldn't absorb into the pad and still function well, um, but I find, yeah, if you were someone with that like thicker type of flow, this won't have that stay dry effect as well. And then also the pile on this fabric, like the velour that I mentioned before, that texture helps with if you're gushing a lot, um, and it, it sort of gives that friction essentially to that liquid so it can't run as quickly off the edge. It gives it just a little bit more time to pull that moisture into the core absorbent layer of layers of the pad. And then lastly, its other pro is that it is also incredibly stain resistant. Just like the PK fabric, being a polyester, it's not absorbing that um, blood directly into the fiber rinses out, washes out super well. So another great choice if you want something super stain resistant. Biggest con, as I mentioned, is that it is a fairly warm fabric. So that is something to keep in mind, especially if you're someone who runs on the warmer side. So that was just a quick rundown of all of the fabrics we offer in our shop. So now I'm gonna run, run through a few other ones very briefly that you may see in other shops and some of their pros and cons. So the first two are gonna be 100% cotton woven, 100% cotton flannel. These are 100%, as I mentioned, 100% cotton fabrics. The cotton woven fabric, 100% cotton. It performs fairly similarly to our cotton lycra fabric. Um, I do find it wicks a little bit slower and it's more prone to staining than our, our cotton lycra fabric. Its biggest downside in comparison to the cotton lycra and the reason we don't use it is that it is a lot 
um, not nearly as soft. So functionally similar to the cotton lycra, cotton woven are very, very similar. I just personally like the cotton lycra better for that extra softness, and then the cotton lycra isn't quite as prone to staining. It's still a good option. Usually you'll see it from shops in like their more budget-friendly section. It is a very inexpensive fabric to acquire. Still works great. A little bit more budget-friendly. Um, yeah, just another option. Cotton, 100% cotton flannel is the other option. It is like a cotton woven that has been brushed. Um, the, the surface of that, that, that fabric has been kind of brushed to create like a fuzz to it. One really good pro to cotton panel flannel is that it does absorb quite quickly, so you are going to have this pretty nice fast absorbing fabric. On the other hand, it does feel a little bit more wet, and over time it does get really uh, pilly, like you'll get little fabric bobbles, pills all over it. Um, and it's it's still another good choice. It's another one that you'll often find in a more like budget-friendly section of pads, or a more like basics pad, I guess, from a lot of shops. It's a good choice. We just have enough other options that fill all of the, the pros that we want. Um, so we just don't find it worthwhile having it in our shop. Now there's another one, it's called Athletic Wicking Jersey. It's very, very, very similar in function to our PK fabric. Um, wicking Jersey will have typically a bunch of like little dimply holes sort of in it. Um, that's kind of how you can tell it apart visually. It wicks super fast, super stain resistant, stay dry. It's great for all of that. Um, Generally, it's only available in solid colors. You can find it printed sometimes. It's just more available as solid colors. The only reason we don't use wicking jersey is because we use PK. They're so similar in function. We just like the PK a little bit better. Now, the last one I want to mention is micro fleece. You see this a lot in like mass manufactured pads, pads ma manufactured overseas, Amazon pads, that sort of thing. It's used on the top layer. A lot of times you'll see it as like a strip down the center and then there'll be like a printed pad on the sides or printed fabric on the sides of it. That's not always the case, but that's often how you see it. Um, what I don't like about micro fleece is that it's very warm and it's not always the easiest to clean. Um, it's used a lot, especially in these mass manufactured pads because it's very inexpensive and yeah, that's, that's pretty much the biggest reason it's used. It's not terrible. Um, my personal experience with it hasn't been great. We have enough, enough other fabrics that we're offering that we definitely don't feel the need to offer micro fleece. That was all of the different topper fabrics that are, you're most commonly going to find in cloth pads. Um, and the next section here, I'm going to very briefly touch on our core fabric and our backer fabric. So the core fabric is the fabric that is on the inside of the pad between the layers of the topper and the backer that is doing all of the work to absorb the moisture. As you can see here, I have like an unfinished pad. Here's our topper. This is a cotton lycra topper with the um, fabric, core fabric sewn to the underside of it. We use a fabric in our shop called Zorb. It is a fabric that was specifically designed to be able to absorb bodily waste and wash out super, super well. We love it. It absorbs up to 10 times its weight in moisture in under two seconds, I think it is. So it absorbs really quickly and it will pull that moisture through the layers of the pad. So it's really great, especially if you're someone who only bleeds like in one spot. It will, it does do a pretty good job at pulling it through. So you're actually utilizing that absorbency all over the pad. A Couple of other common um, options. Cotton flannel, you see this in a lot of handmade pads. It's If you're gonna sew your own pads, cotton flannel is a great core option and what I'm gonna recommend you start with. It's really easy to find, it's easy to work with, works pretty well. Um, it's gonna be a little bit more bulky and probably a little bit more stiff than some of the other core options. That's why we don't use it, but it's a great option if you're a home sewist sewing your own pads. Another really pop popular core option is um, ba different types of bamboo. So usually like a bamboo fleece or sometimes you'll see like a bamboo French terry generally a bamboo cotton blend fabric in a, a variety of different layers sewn together to make um, the appropriate absorbency. Bamboo is a great fabric. We actually used to use bamboo in our shop um, quite a while ago, and it's really floppy. It's really flexible. It absorbs a lot. The biggest reason that we don't use it anymore is that it is a little bit harder to clean than the Zorb fabric that we use. So in order to make our pads as like user-friendly, easy to use, just chuck in the wash and clean. We chose to switch over to that Zorb fabric. It's still a really great option, um, especially if you are conscious of the fact that you have bamboo in your fat in your pads and you're taking good care to clean them. It's a really great option. We just like Zorb a little bit better. It's a little bit easier to clean. It's also a little bit faster to dry. That, that's primarily why we chose to switch over to the Zorb fabric. The last core fabric I want to touch on is microfiber. This is a fabric you're going to see a lot, very frequently in mass manufactured pads. Sometimes they'll call it like a charcoal blend or uh, whatever, but it's almost always just some variation of a fabric called microfiber. I'm trying not to be biased, but 
In my opinion, microfiber fiber is not a great absorbent fabric. The reason it's used is that it is very inexpensive and very accessible for these mass manufactured products, but it is very difficult to clean and pads that have microfiber in the core, eventually almost all of them wind up having some sort of odor that is very difficult to deal with. So by using microfiber, you can make those pads very inexpensive, but also keep in mind, it's gonna be a lot harder to clean than pretty much any of the other fabrics that you can find for a core fabric. So that's all of the different core fabrics I'm gonna to touch on here. And then very lastly, very briefly, we're gonna to touch on the backer layer, the layer that goes against your underwear. In our fabric, it's always this black fabric, the water resistant layer. And the two most commonly types, commonly used types of backer fabrics are soft shell fleece and a fabric called PUL. So PUL, its advantage is that it's very thin, it's floppy and it's waterproof. Sounds great in a pad, um, for, for sounds great for a pad, but its biggest downside is that it is so slippery. Almost everybody who tries a PUL pad has issues with sliding. I get so many people reaching out to me saying, how do you keep your pads in place? My pads are sliding around all the time. And nine times out of 10, we find out it's because they're using a PUL back, backed pad. It's slippery. Again, it's waterproof, works great for that. It's really inexpensive and easy to source, which is why you find it in a lot of mass manufactured pads, Amazon pads. We do not, do not use it because it is slippery. Um, and we want our pads to be able to stay in place. It's really important. If the pad doesn't stay where it needs to stay, it's not gonna do its job. So soft shell fleece is the fabric that we use. Um, and we specifically use a brand called Dintex. It is Ocotex certified. Um, they do claim that this fabric is PFAS free, which is really great and really important. That's why we specifically use this brand of soft shell. There are lots of brands. This is the brand that we use, it's called Dintex. We love soft shell because it still has that same like waterproofing, water resistant lining that PUL has, but it has like a fleece texture, soft shell fleece. Uh, but it's actually a fabric that's typically used in like rain jackets and stuff for its waterproofing effect. It's a really, the, the, the soft shell that we use, it's a really low pile fleece, so it's not like thick and warm, but that fleece provides so much grip in your underwear so your pad's not gonna be sliding everywhere. Just think if you have like a fleece blanket laying around your house or, or anything like that, you pick it up and it sticks to like everything. Well, it's kind of the same concept with these pads. This micro, no, sorry, this soft shell fleece sticks to your underwear so well so your pad's not going anywhere. So yeah, that is the components of our pads. I hope this was helpful. I hope you're now able to have a better idea of what sort of topper fabric you may want to find in your pads. If I wasn't clear on any of this or if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Also, if you have any ideas or things that you'd like to see me do videos of in the future, please leave a comment about that as well and I can do my best to create content around that in the future. And yeah, so thank you for tuning in. Hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!